Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Now, today I've actually got um, not only my pink alto sax, but two white Australian wines, which are probably the best complement to one another that I've made all year. <laughs> from Adelaide's Hill uh, no I didn't purchase them from there I purchased them from Leifweights they happen to come from Adelaide Hills region in Australia it was fantastic peacock Ocelli Chardonnay talented and focused winemaking matched with distinguished cool climate vineyards showcases the very best Chardonnay can offer the grapes are carefully handled to produce a rich layered wine offering ripe orchard fruit flavours with deep oak influences. Drinking exceptionally well on release 13%. Now there's several things that are really interesting in a bottle of Chardonnay like this. And um, the first is that they do suggest it's been oaked and the vintage is 2021 so we're sort of looking at say two two and a half years of um wine making in there and i've got these beautiful rich lemon notes here in the glass the nose is an absolutely exquisite exotic fruit salad and the palette Or is utterly well balanced between fruit, floral and mineral. It's just everything you want. If I had to pin it down to just one flavour, I would say, oh, that's the sand, the silky, silky, silver sand off the seaside. Married, you know, with obviously the peacock's feathers. So here we have a very, very well-known, perhaps the most well-known grape variety in the world, Chardonnay. And Chardonnay, you know, really came to prominence in Burgundy. It's the premier white grape of Burgundy. And it's the grape that makes Chablis. So with such a pedigree as that, you know, everyone else in the world is going to have a bit of an uphill struggle to produce something worthy of the grape variety. And so most of the time, the style will be fairly light bodied and easy drinking. Now, Chardonnay of all the grape varieties is the big buttercream variety. You know, it's not going to give you crisp mineral notes as such. It's going to give you a toffee nose, a bit of caramel, you know, maybe some lemongrass. Um, th this is just generalizing around the world. And if you're a Chardonnay lover, of course, you're going to be well matched because new world and old world you're going to have plenty of choice now as you know for well there's a you know a myriad of very cheap australian chardonnays out there and they're quite okay to drink to be fair from about four pounds a bottle upwards but this one has got the distinction of having that hefty oak influence and i'll be honest with you I can't taste the oak, but what I'm getting is a very, very fulsome ratchet up on the buttercream toffee notes. So, yes, there's a fair bit of fruit in there. There's some blossom, you know, there's some lemon thyme, but it's an absolutely exquisite, easy drinking expression of the great variety Chardonnay. So I highly recommend this wine. It's Ocelli, Adelaide's Hills, 
Chardonnay, 13% from Leaf Weights. And now I also have another Adelaide from Australia. It's called V Yay. It's a really nice bottle. It's got flowers. It's got, you know, everything really. It's very designer. And again, it's 13%. So this is a pretty hefty Viognier, which I've not had before from Australia. And let's see how this one's performing on the nose. Oh, that has got so much coming out at me. There's 10 to 20 things that, you know, I could describe from lilac through to fresh mown grass through to crab's claws. I've chilled these well in my fridge door. They are both, I have to say, not only delightful for the season, which is late September, but they would absolutely fascinate just about any visitor that you've got. And that is the trick, I think, of wine. Make sure you've got something chilling in your fridge door that's going to pretty much fascinate anyone. Now, obviously, a lot of um, white wine drinkers fall into four camps. So you've got Chardonnays, you've got your Sauvignon Blancs, you've got your Pinot Grigios, and you've got your Rieslings. This one, Viognier, is going to please pretty much everyone. This one is going to please pretty much your Chardonnays. Um, yeah, well, you know, hey, that's Chardonnay, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but the two of them together are utterly exquisite. And I'm going to do something I almost never do right now. I'm going to blend the two of them together. They're so perfect, so simplistic, so exquisite. I think they might well marry absolutely incredible nose mm. oh my gosh never be afraid to put two exquisite complementary wines together for your own pleasure obviously you don't want to do it when anyone else is around because you don't want them to know what a hedonist you are um wows i mean to a certain extent what i've done here is i've taken away the singularity of them but i've married them together to present probably the most exquisite australian white wine i've ever tasted ever ladies and gentlemen you can buy viognier from france but this one is really good from australia Life is about chilling out a little bit, not being too rigid, having a bit of fun, you know, trying something, experiment, explore, discover. I just ask you to approach life with an open mind. You know, 95% of what you meet in life isn't going to be for you. But the odd 